the most common question people have is, how do you fund this project? To me, I prefer the question, how do I not fund this project? In Los Angeles, um, on Hollywood Boulevard is where I accidentally stumbled upon the power of free tea. Um, but what I discovered was that when I took profit maximization motive out of my interactions with people, and especially with strangers, it made my interactions much more genuine. Uh, if we think about money in terms of human history, what we come to find is that before money, people had direct relationships with the things they used and consumed, or they had relationships with people who had relationships with those other things they used to consume. And the traditional human economy is based around sharing rather than profit maximization, which is at the heart of money and barter. Coming to like the nitty gritty, how does this project sustain, is relationships. So I built my shelter, I have a relationship with it. Out of salvage materials, I don't pay rent. I harness electricity from the sun for all my electrical needs. Um, my fridge is solar powered. I have a wood stove for heat. I gather wood for heat. The bus runs on recycled vegetable oil, which I gather from restaurants. American culture is, is based on this idea uh, of finding a new way. We're at a point, in t a point in time where we're realizing that kind of like the American culture we were fed in the 1950s, which is like the American dream, white picket fence, all that stuff, we're having to turn around and reclaim it and recycle it and turn it into something uh, that's more in line with our current value set. This is a hibiscus blend. It's hibiscus, lemongrass, uh, rose petal, uh, orange peel. Actually, there's whole lemons, oranges, and um, limes in it as well. So it's kind of like an iced tea some fruit juice. So let's see how this tea is. Mmm! <laughs> that is some really good tea. Yeah, it's a little tart, a little sweet. Very refreshing. Mmm. Great tea. Even better because it's free. <laughs> <laughs>